These are the Ingasa pedals made by the guys over at 3D Wrap. Now you probably know them as the company that makes 3D printed mods and upgrades for Logitech and Thrustmaster wheels, but this pedal set takes the company into a whole other dimension. This isn't a 3D printed mod or a cheap replacement to the Logitech pedals. This is a full blown professional sim racing pedal set looking to take on the top competitors in the market, and it certainly packs a punch. The Ingasa pedals were kindly sent over to me by the guys over at 3D Wrap, a company that got its name for making third party mods for sim racing peripherals. So when they've reached out with these pedals, I wasn't expecting anything crazy, but little did I know, these would be a lot better than I was expecting. The Ingasa pedals were designed from the ground up to achieve three things, realism, performance, and customization. They're constructed almost entirely from stainless steel and mine are suited with carbon fiber pedal faces. They also have a few plastic bits for electronic housings, spacers, and 3D printed elastomers. Other than those elastomers, the plastic bits don't seem vulnerable to long-term wear and tear. Though I'd be lying if I said these were the most beautiful set of pedals I've ever laid my eyes on, their compact size and high quality build give them a unique look. I will note that I did find a few imperfections on the finish of some of these stainless steel parts, though for the most part they do a good job when it comes to their finish. These are a pricey set of pedals, though you can choose what you want and do not want included with them, and that will change the total price. So in my case, the 3 Pro pedals along with its base retails for 750 euros, but at the opposite end of the scale, buying only the standard load cell brake and throttle pedal costs 460. The overall build and rigidity of these pedals is second to none. Funny enough, they had the misfortune of being tested on three different sim racing cockpits, where I practically beat the crap out of them with the intention of testing out the flex on different cockpits. And while some cockpits did flex a little, the pedals themselves remained perfectly intact, rigid, and working as normal. Now you have to understand, I was basically trying to break these pedals, and they held up perfectly fine, so I feel more than comfortable stating that with normal use, these pedals will not give you any problems in the long term. And that's only supported by the fact that they use 12-bit Hall Effect sensors on both the clutch and throttle. Though the stainless steel build of the Ingasa pedals do give them a cool look and allow them to take a beating, they tend to hold onto fingerprints and sweat very easily. After just a few minutes of using these pedals with socks, the pedal plate visibly shows that. Without a doubt, these are some of the most adjustable set of pedals I've ever owned. It's practically harder to find things that you can't adjust than those that you can. So let's go over some of them. On all three, you can adjust the inclination, the angle of the pedal face, as well as their height. On the brake pedal, you can adjust the position of the load cell to give a more progressive or linear feel. You can adjust the preload, and of course, fine tune the resistance of the brake. The clutch and throttle are just as adjustable with various ways to modulate the feel and behavior of them. You can also invert these pedals onto a cockpit that supports that, as all three pedals can be individually swapped around. The 3D Wrap website does a fantastic job at showcasing the various ways to configure these pedals, so a link is in the video description if you want to know more about all of these specifics. Behind the pedals, you probably notice the electronics box. This is basically the brain of the pedal set that converts all the signals from the pedal inputs and transmits them back into the game via a single USB cable. I should mention that these pedals only work on PC, by the way. Everything in the system works as expected. The signals are immediate and there is no delay whatsoever. The USB cable provided with these pedals is long enough and is braided for more rigidity. That being said, I don't like its red color. While sure it may look cool, it makes it harder to disguise throughout your cockpit when managing cables. Not a massive deal, but I would prefer it just be black. The pedal base plate is optional, meaning it can be purchased separately. It's also made from stainless steel and looks nice with the pedals attached. There's not much to say about it, that being said, I am a big fan of its mounting system, which uses adjustable T-nut slots, meaning you won't have a problem with mounting this onto most cockpits out there. With regards to the actual performance of these pedals, there's quite a bit to be said. Starting with the throttle, it works as you would expect. It has a good travel which can be adjusted and requires little force to push down. Upon release, it instantly retracts back which means it's easy to modulate in game. As previously mentioned, it uses a 12-bit Hall Effect sensor and in essence, it does the job and it does it well. 
Moving on to the clutch, it was a little underwhelming at this price point, as it felt almost identical to the throttle except with just a little more resistance. High-end clutch pedals I've previously used almost always have a very unique feel to them as they use a three-stage mechanism to emulate hitting a car's bite point, but this is something that is not substantially felt in the Ingasso pedals. I can feel a little something going on there, but it's extremely subtle to the point where you don't really notice it in-game. Thus, it really did just feel like the throttle, but with a bit more resistance, which definitely did the job, but it just was a little underwhelming. Finally onto the brake, this one was impressive, but certainly a little different to what I was used to. It uses a precise 16-bit load cell sensor and can take up to 100 kg of force. Throughout my time testing it, I purposefully tried it out at a very high resistance to try and really put this pedal set to the test, and it handled it like a champ. I was able to hit constant lap times and felt comfortable using them throughout my dozens of hours of use, but unlike traditional brake pedals which use a mix of interchangeable springs, bumpers, and bushings which allow you to perfectly dial in the feel of the brake, the and guess the pedals you The Ingesa pedals use 3D printed elastomers, which although can be switched out, it limits the fine adjustability compared to other pedals at this price point. It also raises some suspicion regarding its long-term performance and reliability. In conclusion, the Ingesa pedals by 3D Wrap is a good offering in the high-end pedal market and drives the company into a new direction. It's a good looking set of pedals with vast adjustability that can be configured in several ways. Moreover, 3D Wrap takes on a good philosophy in that they allow all components of the pedal set to be purchased separately to give the end consumer the most amount of flexibility. That being said, they do face a lot of competition with big names like Husingvelt and Fanatec and many, many others at this price point, and how they stack up to those is something only time will tell. As always, thank you all for watching, stay safe, and have a fantastic rest of your day.